Today on Marital Messes, we have a very special episode for you. Our guests are Emperor Nero and Papaya Sabina. Nero and I fight bitterly about everything, especially when he goes out to the races. Papaya called us for help due to her growing fear of Nero's aggression. And the twist is, Papaya is heavily pregnant. Papaya is an extremely beautiful woman with deep religious roots, and Nero became emperor in 54 AD. Let's go speak to Papaya to see how she feels her marriage is going. Good morning, Papaya. How are you? Not very well. That's why I'm here. I know, I know. Explain to me what your concerns are. My fear is, is that Nero is cheating on me. When he goes out to the races, he's actually going to bed another woman. But I'm afraid that if I bring it up, his rage will take over and I don't know what he'll do. What? Are you afraid he might attempt to hurt you? I don't know. All I know is, is that Nero seems to have spiraled into some sort of madness. What makes you say that? Well, I'm afraid I'm getting older and that Nero's out there looking to find someone to take my place. Now, we're going to speak to Nero to hear his side of the story. Hello, Nero. Why do you think you're here today? I don't know. Oh, well, how do you feel your marriage is going? All right, let me set the record straight. I'm not seeing other women. Is it a sin for a man to go to the races, have a few drinks? So, everything is going good with your marriage? No cheating or deception? You people act like it's all me. Papaya is the one who pressured me to divorce and then later execute my ex-wife so she could marry me. So what do you think needs to be done to fix your marriage? I need you people to leave me alone. Don't go anywhere. After Marital Messes is Gossip Center, where we talk about everything gossipy. So, Papaya, the next step is for you and Nero to talk face to face. What should I say? I think you should stand up for yourself and tell him how you feel and what you think. I will do it. Where have you been? At the races. Where else? I think you've been betting another woman. How dare you accuse me of such things? Well, you're always out late. And when you come home, you never want to talk to me. Those are red flags to me. How dare you? I've given you everything. I let you spend all my money. I've given you a child. I even married you after you betted my friend Otho. Well, you don't put the towel over the toilet hole, woman! Ugh. Welcome to Gossip Center, where we talk about everything gossipy. Did you hear about that one chariot racer? Oh, what was his name? I am. Um, the it one was on Marcus. Marcus. Yeah, the one on the red team. Yeah. Ooh, he was cute. Yeah, but he won the entire thing. He just won the entire thing. That's a hard thing to do. He was really good. He had that circus maximus go in a while. I would watch him race all day long. <laughs> but more pressing news. Did you hear what happened to Emperor Nero and his wife Pompeia? No, wait, wait, wasn't there something about her, like, getting kicked or something? He kicked her to death. Oh, what? Wait, wait, she was like seven months pregnant. Are you kidding me? He kicked her, his seven month pregnant wife to death. That is the craziest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. I, uh, it says here that he jumped on her stomach repeatedly until she died. I also have reports that he went into deep mourning. If you kill someone like that, you're not gonna go into deep mourning. Also, I heard the nastiest thing too. I heard that he was betting a man. I also heard that shortly after he killed her, he killed her son, Rufrius, too. 
Is that what he's saying? Rufrius. Like he killed Rufrius right after he killed Pompeii. Ladies, know your signs of a crazy man. That is a crazy man. Why would she? Why would you embarrass him like that? I heard that he killed his mother. That's how you know. Well, she's the one that pursued him. I don't even understand. Why would he do that? It's, it's, it's she wanted the money, and she got the money, but she got a little bit more than she asked for. Well, that's all the time we have. Thank you for joining us with the Gossip, Gossip Center. Center.